At this point, you know how to make an expression using variables. In this tutorial, we'll do some examples demonstrating the best way to substitute and evaluate these expressions. Example 1. Determine x plus 3 if x equals 6. So our expression is x plus 3, and the variable is x. That is, x could be any number of values, but we're interested in the result if x is specifically equal to 6. Step 1. Rewrite out the equation using brackets in place of the variable. So in place of the x, we'll put an empty set of brackets. Now you may ask, why the brackets? And it's true that in this particular case, the brackets won't make much difference. Given that, you'll find as you get into tougher problems, the brackets can really help you stay organized and reduce errors. Thus, we'll establish the habit early and save you that pain. In the next step, we put the required value into our brackets. That is, 6. And now we're ready to evaluate. As mentioned, the brackets won't make much difference here, so we can look at this as 6 plus 3. And that equals 9. When x equals 6, our expression equals 9. Example 2. Your daily pay is calculated using pay equals 15h plus 15 to pay for your hours and transportation time. If you work six hours, how much did you earn that day? We have an equation for your pay in terms of the variable h, representing the number of hours worked in a day. We're interested in the pay for a day when h was specifically 6. Step 1. Write out the equation using brackets in place of the variable. So brackets in place of h. In the next step, we put the required value in those brackets, that is 6. Now we're ready to evaluate. We multiply first, 15 times 6, and we could use our calculator for that, 90. And then we're ready to add 90 plus 15 equals 105. We would earn $105 for this day. In this tutorial, we learned that the best way to evaluate expressions is through three steps. Write the expression with empty brackets in place of the variable. Then put the value in the brackets and then evaluate. Don't be sloppy and start skipping steps. It'll lead to mistakes, particularly as you get into more complicated questions. Develop good habits before it starts to cost you.